Hello, welcome back to another video. Uh, today, I would like to show you a few books that I purchased recently. Uh, they are called uh, Welcome to the Museum. There's a, there's a series of these books. Um, they're ones about anatomy and planets and uh, dinosaurs and stuff. But I thought I'd start with two pretty basic ones. A book of animals and a book of plants. Just to get my creative juices flowing. Um, sometimes I just sit down and I don't know what to draw, so... Uh, these books have kind of helped me come out of that. Um, I really like the, uh, the colors in them. I mean, they're, they're basically like watercolor and ink drawings, which are totally up my alley. So it kind of helps me practice my own style, uh, in someone else's style, if that makes any sense at all. Um, but yeah, uh, I'd like to flip through these and show you some of the things I really like about these. Uh, let's start with the animal one. Animalium. Curated by Katie Scott and Jenny Broom. Just the inside of this is cool. It's like... Ah, uh, and it smells so good. Animalium. Little preface with some words. We got invertebrates, fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds, mammals. Yep. Some more words. Let's get to the pictures. Tree of life. There's a little bit of education here too. Of course. Yeah, you know, we've got these cool sea life thingies, porifera to be specific. Cephalopods. Yep. Butterflies and insects and stuff. Fish. Yeah, fish. Big old shark. Yeah, look at him. The stingray is awesome. I think it's a stingray. It's an eagle ray. Excuse me. It's also known to jump out of the water. Fish stuff. Got your fish tails, which are relevant to my interest. I like drawing fish tails on things. Look at him, he's all rainbowy. I sat and looked at this fish for a minute. Like, how did they do that? That must be some watercolor stuff. It kind of fascinated me. Um, amphibians, fergs. Reptiles. I like this lizard. He's pretty cool. Snacks. Desert habitats, and then burbs, also very relevant to my interests. Yeah, I like that uh, the colors just are so soft, and a lot of these drawings have like stippling bits to them. So yeah, this is like super great practice for me. 
uh, personally. Like these wings, the way these feathers are, are done, it's just beautiful. Pingins. Sigils. Albatross. They look like seagulls to me, man. More burbs. I like this little guy, all curled up up here. So many burbs. And then mammals. Which includes marsupials, elephants, primates, rodents, bats, cats, hooded mammals, Sirenia, Pinnipedia, and Cetacea. Uh, uh, it, and something Arctic tundra. I drew him. That's the guy that I modeled my little koala after. Primates, rodents. I just love these little spots, little dots, little stipplings. He's cool. I kind of want to draw this guy at some point. Giant cloud rat. Oh, no, wait. That's a long eared jerboa. That guy is. Bats, Lurens, mm. Lurpards, Jerfs, and other things that live on the prairie in Africa somewhere. Narwhals and walruses and dolphins and manatees. Arctic tundra stuff.
And the second one is all about plants. We got some plants here. Botanicum. Oh, and this is by Katie Scott also. Uh, and instead of Jenny Broom, it's Kathy Willis. Just for the record. First plants, trees, palms, and uh, cycads. I apologize if I'm butchering these words. Herbaceous plants, grasses, cattails, sedges, and rushes. Orchids and bromel bromeliad bromeliads. Uh, and Gallery 7, Adapting to Environments. Little tree of how everything connects somehow in the world. First plants. This fascinates me. I love this thing. What is this? It's a... Lycmophora flabellata. <laughs> Lycmophora flabellata. <laughs> yeah. It is found in shallow marine environments such as estuaries. Uh, it's sticky. Or wait, yeah. It secretes a sticky substance from the base of the main stalk which enables it to attach itself to rocks. Badass. And this thing is cool. I want to, like, sleep with this thing. Mm hmm. Looks very cozy. Bryophytes. <clears throat> I just drew this mushroom. Because. Look at that. It's so neat. I love the darkness and how it like creates depth and its shadows and stuff there. And just those are great colors in general. Nice reds and oranges. Other cool plants. Mosses, horsetails, and whisk ferns. Mm hmm Trees. <clears throat> Pine cones and stuff. Sequoia. And this is also cool. I like these fan looking leaves. They're pretty neat. The ginkgo. Peach. Mm, peaches are fun to draw. I like that intense darkness in the middle that comes out into the light. What is this? This looks familiar. It's a banana. No, it's not. It's a banana? What? It's a wild ancestor of the cultivated banana. Thousands of years of domestication have produced a delicious edible fruit. The yellow variety known as the Cavendish, found in many supermarkets, represents just a small proportion of global production. That's not a dang banana. This book lies. Uh, Mongolia? Magnolia, not Mongolia. Wow, I think I need a nap. Pity. I knew what I was talking about, though. <sighs> P 
palms. Had a lot of these in Florida, palmettos. Yep, all over the place. Dwarf palmettos, or just palmettos in general. Flowers. Lovely little flowers. Dandelion, right? Yep. It's the stages of the dandelion right here. Mm hmm. Know all about dandelions. Sunflowers. Um. Poppies? Nope. Where's the poppy? This is a poppy. Common sunflower. Wait a minute, what was the other one? A black eyed Susan. Sorry. Anyway. Lovely to look at nonetheless. Looks like onions. Yep. Red onion. And garlic? Garlic. Also garlic. Carrots. Radishes. Peanuts. Potatoes. Yep. This is cool. I like the this root. This root is neat. It's a ginger root. Vines and stuff. Pumpkins. Looks like cucumbers, maybe. No. Those are sponge gourds. Those are gourds. I'm really bad at this. I'm really good at looking at pictures. I'm really bad at guessing what things are, though. So forgive me. Bamboo. Obviously. It's hard to get that one wrong. Orchids. He's cute. His wing looks really soft. Mm. That's neat. Succulents, yep. I've had a couple of these. What are these? Uh, something I can't pronounce. Echeveria laui. These little petals are kind of thick and they're like, they've got kind of a velvety texture. Cacti. He's cool too. I like him. Zebra cactus. There's so many different things in these books to look at and obsess over. This reminds me of that Pokemon Vileplume, or whatever his name is. Shut up, sirens. Thank you. As soon as I said that, they started driving in the other direction. They knew.
Yep. That's about it, man. They're, uh, they're like 100-ish pages each. This one's 95, including the index. And this one is... 95 including the index <laughs> but yeah um these were like 20 bucks or something on amazon and i have a feeling i'm gonna be using the crap out of them um i'm already putting them to very good use so um yeah